PewDiePie reacts to Alita Battle Angel being put on the side of Elon Musk's rocket, getting millions and millions of more people finding out about Alita Battle Angel. No, he did not do that. Elon's son has done it again. He put Alita Battle Agent Angel on a rocket? No, he did not do that. He did, he did do that. No! The absolute mad lad. That's so dope. While more people on Twitter and Reddit find Alita based on Elon Musk's tweet, including Zoe Saldana, who loved that he put Alita on the SpaceX rocket, replying yes with a ton of exclamation points to John Landau. And of course, we're going to see a lot of Zoe Saldana as the Avatar sequels come out, and she has given her allegiance to James Cameron, saying she would do anything for him. So hopefully she joins Elite Army and fights for an Elite sequel. Have you gotten a call from Mr. Cameron yet? I, no, I just, I heard that, that we might go next year, so I'm really psyched. I'm keeping my bags packed. I would do anything for that man and for that project, so... I'm, I'm waiting. All the while, Alita ends up on the most popular anime list of 2020, according to Wikipedia, with Crunchyroll saying it was Alita's army's efforts bringing her up because a month ago, she was not even in the top 10. How high does she go? Wait and see. The Doctor is in. What's up guys, Doc Ito here with an Alita update. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss any of Doc Ito's free repairs. Sign the Alita sequel petition as we get closer to 150,000 signatures. And buy those Blu-rays, baby, at the links below. So Crunchyroll News looked at the most popular anime in 2020 according to Wikipedia and ranked them uh, for the top animes for the year 2020 so far. Now, of course, Alita Battle Angel is a movie based on a manga which also spurred in anime, so they did still qualify it based on this list. We'll go through the top very briefly and then talk about Alita here. So they start off with number 10, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which is inspired by an anime and ultimately came full circle, inspiring creators in the medium as well. Number 9, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, which is a video game based on the Dragon Ball manga franchise for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. We're gonna skip number eight and go to number seven, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Number six, Studio Ghibli, which I'm a big fan of. Miyazaki is amazing. Five, Interspecies Reviewers. Four, Weathering With You, which I haven't seen, but I heard is great. Three, Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaba. I probably butchered that name. Number two, My Hero Academia. And finally, number one, Alita Battle Angel. So congratulations, guys. Alita is number one on, based on Wikipedia traffic as the number one anime of 2020 so far. Last year, audiences around the world were treated the biggest Hollywood adaptation of a manga to date. Yukito Kishiro's Gundam was released as Alita Battle Angel, a passion project of James Cameron, under the leadership of director and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure fan. Robert Rodriguez. In Anime News Network, from an interview from September of 2018, Robert Rodriguez said he started as a cartoonist doing work that is manga-like. The desperate character Machete, the girl with machine gun legs, a lot of these things are the kind of things you'd come up in a fever dream. Haha, <laughs> I, I always start by drawing out characters. I did an interview with Crunchyroll earlier. They asked my favorite anime. I remember being in college when Akira first came out. I remember watching Akira on the big screen every day after school. It was fun to watch other people's reaction to it. You'd see people coming out of the theater saying, what the blank did I just see? This was University of Texas, Austin. I just loved it. Rodriguez continues, recently I got into it more. Now my kids are into it. I turned them on to different movies as they're growing up, but I guess they just watch anime on their phones. They were watching Crunchyroll, so I'd see the stuff they'd watch, like Samurai Champloo and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm way into JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Way into that. Anyway, so this is an interesting interview. Um, I'll ring, link them all below. This is from... Um, an interview, like I said, in September of 18, around the time when they were talking about Alita Battle Angel. And this is a interview that at the Crunchyroll Expo with Yukito Kishiro, Robert Rodriguez, John Landau. So I'll look it below if you guys want to check it out. Rosa Salazar was there as well. And um, they just talked about all of these issues. And of course, JoJo's was number seven on this list. Going back to the list, now in 2020, the films will continue to be a page tops the list of anime related pages for a second year in a row thanks to diehard fans if you looked at the rankings in january alita would still make the top 10 but just barely however an online group known as the hashtag alita army started kickstarter late last year to get enough funds to fly a plane over the oscars requesting a sequel to the 2019 film they talk about the funding and how extra funds went to open bionics and how Alita Army ended up raising 16000 and is in the process of passing this on to Open Bionics. They have the hashtag Alita sequel, hashtag Alita Army playing here over the Academy Awards. And then go through some articles like IndieWire, IGN covering the story, and staff and cast alike 
sharing their excitement on social media. Overall, Crunchyroll talks about how it's incredible to see a fan campaign that was able to bring all this attention to the movie and how that brought the Wikipedia traffic exceeding all of the top airing simulcasts. So if that doesn't speak to the power of fandom, I'm not sure what does. Alita Battle Angel was now on HBO. If you hadn't had to see it, if you hadn't had a chance to see it, go check it out and give it a shot. Um, and that's their list. So essentially, I mean, this is huge that this wasn't even the top 10. And now with Alita's army efforts just in the last month, we have brought it up. And the whole point of this is to get more people seeing the movie because the more people that do see it, the more people are going to fall in love. Alita Army is going to grow. More people will want a sequel, which is the ultimate goal, because we do not stand by in the presence of evil. And that's where things like Elon Musk tweeting out his Battle Angel Starship does make such a big difference, because it brought a ton of boost to more people checking the movie and more publicity for it, as we covered in the last video. And here are just a couple examples. This is a user on Twitter who said, just finished watching Alita. Looks like Elon Musk wasn't wrong. Oh, sorry. Elon Musk's son wasn't wrong. I wished I watched it earlier. I'm so out of touch. You're not out of touch. You're just now part of Alita Army. I'm glad you found it, and we will continue to support you as we fight for the sequel. Here's another quote. I think this is from Reddit. Literally watched Alita last night because I saw the rocket meme and was like, blanky blank. Why have I never heard of this? We need to see Zalem. So think about it. For everyone that posts, there's a dozen, if not hundreds of people that didn't post about this, but still saw the movie because of Elon Musk and because of Alita Army tweeting out to Elon. So great job, everyone. We are continuing to grow the Alita Army. Also, I didn't realize this, but uh, how do I pronounce this? Kui, Kuikawa, I guess. On Twitter, also noticed that Zoe Saldana liked John Landau's post about Elon Musk posting the rocket. So Zoe's on board and she's supporting us for an Alita sequel. And Zoe, of course, is very well accustomed with John Landau and James Cameron. And we're going to see a lot of her coming up in the Avatar sequels. She's been quoted in the past as saying that she would do anything for James Cameron. So we definitely appreciate her support and would love her to jump aboard the Alita bandwagon, joining Alita Army, fighting for the sequel. Now, another big target for Alita Army has been PewDiePie the number one subscriber on YouTube, or sorry, the YouTuber with the most subscribers, and he actually did get a hold of Elon Musk, post about Alita Starship, as we mentioned yesterday, the fact that Elon posted Alita on the Starship ended up being the number one rank on his Reddit, so let's check out his response to it. No, he did not do that. Elon's son has done it again. He put Alita Battle Agent Angel on a rocket? No, he did not do that. He was supposed to put subscribe to Pewdiepie. Oh, it's a dead meme anyway. He did not do that. He should have put Pickle Rick on it. Then he would truly have my respect. He did, he did do that. No. The absolute mad lad. That's so dope. I didn't see Alita Battle Angel, but I know she came from like this sky thing. So it's kind of poetic almost that she would upwards move movement if you understand do a pickle rick next time <laughs> elon do it right <laughs> i want to see a pickle rick oh man that would make me truly happy if i see a pickle rick on an elon musk rocket i will be like well you know in general i question if existence is worth it pain usually outmeasures pleasure but there was a pickle rick on a rocket once so i think humanity was worth it that's just my opinion well i can't say i really subscribe to pewdiepie but I'm not sure what this whole Pickle Rick thing he's got going on with uh, with Elon on the rocket, but um, PewDiePie, you gotta watch Alita, man. So let's, you know, I, I would tell you guys to go in his comments and recommend him watch Alita, but I mean, he gets so many views uh, and so many comments for every video. I don't think we're really going to be able to get his attention, but hopefully he watches Alita and supports um, our request for a sequel. Uh, I think that'd be much more fun than uh, Pickle on a rocket, but... Anyways, good to have PewDiePie cover it, because look at this, 5.4 million views already. I mean, this is just cascading. More and more and more people are hearing about Alita, and all of this is from Alita Army's efforts. So kudos to all you guys and girls for fighting for Alita and trying to get a sequel. This is all marketing in such a weird way. I mean, none of us are pros at this, but it seems to be working because our passion for Alita and we're going to continue to do it. So y'all have a great day. I uh, hope you enjoyed this update. Let me know, I guess, if I should uh, figure out about this whole Pickle Rick thing or watch PewDiePie and what your favorite anime is of the year. But like I said, have a great day. God bless. We'll talk to you soon. Doc out.